All right, so this is a 2012 E250. We're doing the rear brakes. Brake fluid reservoir located on the driver's side. Just want to remove your cover first. Want to remove your tire. 22 millimeter lug nuts. Put your van in the air. Underneath here. That bolt right there. Right there. But as you can see, it's a little difficult to get to the top when they remove this caliper. So we're just gonna remove our bottom one. 10 millimeter Allen key. Insert it right there. We're gonna loosen up that Allen key now. 10 millimeter Allen key is all the way out. I took it all the way out so it wouldn't give us any problem. Now we're gonna compress our pistons. It's a dual piston. So there's one on the bottom, one on the top. You can just use two pry bras and compress them at the same time. So we can have some more play on this caliper. All right, so once you have both your pistons compressed, once you have both your pistons compressed inside the caliper, now you're gonna use a pry bar up underneath the bottom. You also want to shift this top side outward. So you're going to shift this, push it in, so we can be able to pull up this caliper without having to remove that top bolt because it's way too hard to get to. And we don't want to have to take off this whole retainer. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so once you shift it in and pry up on it, you're able to get some movement out the caliper, which should allow you to get these brake pads out. Just gonna remove the inside one the same way. All right, so both brake pads have been removed. We're gonna install our new ones. We have some Duralast Gold. These hooks here will go up in your retaining clips. I'll show you when I install them. All right, so once your rear pads install, you're just gonna wanna shift the caliper over like that. As you can see, I shifted it. So now you can get the outer pad in. And we're gonna put that in now.